Hello, everyone. You're listening to Alternative Revelations with Linda Emanuel, and this is podcast number 133. I'm going to do the rest of Missouri. Uh, There's only three cities or three areas that are going to be hot that I know of as of today, August 13th, 2020. One of them is Springfield, Missouri. Another one is Cape Girardeau down south of Missouri, and then the other one is Poplar Bluff. And at the very end of this podcast, I will reveal why these three cities in Missouri are being targeted. And I'm going to add, if this resonates with you, so be it. If not, just disregard it. I just found out yesterday that every state in America is going to have somewhere targeted. I don't know the the cities yet. That's the problem. I guess Creator doesn't know either. They're, they're mapping it out right now. Um, they're furiously... Uh, putting this 5G grid in across America. You all know about the Secure 5G and Beyond Act that was signed into law on March 23rd of 2020. This law mandates that the 5G will be implemented within 180 days. I don't know if it's 30 days after the signing or 30 days from March 23rd. Okay, with that said and done, I am going to begin the podcast and I'm going to start with Springfield. And Springfield, Missouri is pretty, pretty simple. So Springfield, inside Springfield, it's hot. And it's not a really big town, but it's a really nice little town. And inside Springfield, is going to be underground 5G, I'm being told. And the northernmost boundaries of Springfield, it's pretty easy. There's a highway called um, 744. That's the northern boundary. It runs um, west to east. And then the uh, eastern boundary is a highway called 65. Turner's to the east of that is safe. Then you go down to a town called Fremont Hills and Fremont Hills is safe. And I think I did say Turner's is safe. Then moving clockwise to the west is a town called Battlefield. And that is hot. And draw a straight line across Battlefield going west to east or east to west. That's your boundary. And then Battlefield draw a straight line up from battlefield all the way to the north and that's your boundary and that's that take pretty much takes care of springfield missouri it's pretty straightforward and um underground fiber optics in springfield missouri so that ends springfield missouri and i'm going to go on to cape Girardeau, missouri and i am going to leave the grid of springfield in the description of the podcast and cape Girardeau is a small town a real southern town along the Mississippi River south of St. Louis and it's um, not a real big town it's got Southeast Missouri State College uh, it's just a nice little small town and the southernmost boundaries I, I'm gonna have the map available for you to go along with me the southernmost boundary of Cape Girardeau to the south is a town called Kelso and Chaffee and those two are hot, so you can draw a line across Chaffee and Kelso. Those are your southern boundaries. And a highway, there's a highway going from north to south that's called Highway 25, and that's your boundary on the west. And all the towns on 25 going up, they're hot. And Dutchtown, which is on 25, that's a standalone. Uh, Gordonville, which is on 25, that's a standalone. And the boundary up north where the corner is the northwest corner is a town called Jackson and that's hot and that's a standalone and draw a straight line across and that's your boundary for Cape Girardeau and the river to the east is the east boundary so Cape Girardeau um, there's no underground fiber optics in Cape Girardeau being installed so that's one good thing So that takes care of Cape, and I will tell you at the end why Cape Girardeau, Springfield, and Poplar Bluff are being targeted. Now on to Poplar Bluff, which is the gateway to the Ozarks. And what's really interesting about Poplar Bluff is that it's only the city of Poplar Bluff. There's no other city around Poplar Bluff except Green Forest, and that's safe. So it's it's a mystery about Poplar Bluff, but I did get told why Poplar Bluff is being attacked and once you understand and you'll say okay that makes sense so the whole uh, city of Poplar Bluff will be under attack but there's really no other cities or towns around Poplar Bluff and Poplar Bluff is uh, 
small little town just nestled down on Highway 60 and 67 going down to the Ozarks. So now I'm going to continue and tell you why these three cities in Missouri, some of them not very big, why they are being targeted. And here goes. And if you're a fan of Deborah Tavares, you know about climate action plans and resilient cities. Well, all three of these cities, Cape Girardeau, Springfield, and Poplar Bluff, I googled it and I, I checked it with Creator. They do not have climate action plans. They may have clean air action plans, but they're not following the orders of the higher ups, which are the Jesuits. The Jesuits are the very top of the pyramid or, you know, the the ones that call all the shots. So these three cities are not in compliance with climate action plans. They're not going along with the new world order. And some of them are consul mayor forms of government, which the Jesuits do not like. So that is why these three towns are being targeted. They're not in compliance with the new world order. And this is to get them into line, alignment. So my next podcast, I don't know what state I'm going to do, but I'm going to keep moving on. Got a lot of lot of cities to cover. It's just overwhelming. I'm going to try to make it a little easier, not get into such depth, because I've got. It looks like I've got every state in the union to do, even though I don't know uh, 25 of the states where they're going to be attacked. And so things can change day to day, just like the other day. Uh, the deployment date was the 21st, and then all of a sudden it got changed to the 28th. And I can't give uh, any reason for that, except they just can they can change their minds. So be aware, prepare, and be safe from the 5G. And until next time, good night and God bless.